Realtors, I know I got your attention on this one. And the question is, how do you date an 800 pound gorilla? Well, if we're talking about 800 pound gorillas in the residential real estate space, we're talking, of course, about Zillow. Zillow is the single largest consumer brand recognized in the residential real estate space. Uh, and they are here and they are here to stay and they are established. And so everyone's got an opinion about Zillow. I used to have a very strong opinion about Zillow until I realized, you know what? I can't control Zillow. They're not going away. Let me re reconsider this. Like, what is the opportunity with Zillow being in the Cincinnati residential real estate space? Where's my opportunity? Um, well, there's some things that we need to accept and actually recognize and respect about Zillow. The first one is they are phenomenal at marketing to consumers. They draw a ton of people to their website. They're also amazing at generating leads from those consumers, typically through inquiries where they have a question about a property they've seen or they want to go and schedule showing. And the other thing that they're really, really good at, um, sometimes this hurts a little bit, they're really good at selling those leads to real estate agents. Um, and so the question is, well, the observation is absolutely Zillow is a legitimate lead source, a way to accelerate the growth of your business. But how do you do this? How do you date an 800 pound gorilla and not get mauled in the process? Here are the things you need to know. Zillow has two types of leads. The first ones are what they call their flex leads, and the second one are what they call their market or market-based pricing leads. Flex is a special program where you pay nothing up front and they refer clients to you and you pay a referral fee back to them when you close, somewhere between 25 and 35%. I have to qualify for that. Uh, the other one that they have is market-based pricing, and that is where you pay for a percentage of all the leads generated in a specific zip code. Now, obviously, if you're buying leads in a zip code with very high average sales price or a very in-demand consumer location, Zillow will necessarily charge you more than they would for a less popular zip code. So um, you'll probably start on the market-based pricing thing. It gets very expensive very quickly, which is why you need to know how to pay for them. And the way you pay for them is make sure, making sure that you partner with at least one lender that you have a good working relationship with uh, who will kind of go in with you and split the expense of these leads. Uh, because the return on investment is not super awesome unless you can get somebody to help pay for it. And finally, uh, let me give you the real reason why you would date an 800 pound gorilla and risk it, right? It's not to close the business. Yes, that's helpful. Yes, it creates a return on investment, but this industry really is about relationships. 66% of all buyers and 70% of all sellers find their agent either work with somebody they already know who is an agent or are referred to somebody who is an agent. This business is a relationship business. You're using the 800 pound gorilla to create leads, to, to create sales that go into your CRM so that you have long-term relationships and those people over time will use you again and between now and then will refer you multiple times. That's actually how you do a great job dating the gorilla. Now, three caveats. Do not work with Zillow leads if any of these three things are true. Number one, you can't afford to pay for these leads for at least six, preferably nine months before you make a decision on whether or not they're gonna work for you. Uh, number two is um, you have got to have a really good follow-up game. If you're not good at following up leads, these leads are too expensive um, to purchase, call once or twice, and if it doesn't work out, right off. Um, and then the third one is, um, you may not have the zip codes available that you want, and so you've gotta ask yourself, uh, am I willing to go outside of certain geographic areas so I can get into the game with Zillow and maybe pivot to more in-demand zip codes later on? So that's the scoop. That's how you play the game. That's how you dance with the 800-pound gorilla. And uh, I hope you find this helpful. Remember, I'm here every single week to give you three to five minute videos to help you level up your business, whether that's through lead generation, whether it's through skill acquisition, or whether it's through financial confidence. Please follow us at realtorlevelup.com. That's our blog on our Facebook uh, page or uh, on YouTube. I'll see you guys in a week. Thanks for your time.